the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 195, with Anne is Okay. Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. It's Anthony, you just heard it was unaware by Anne is OK, who I've got on the show with me right now. They've got a new album called Arm, set to release via Rising Empire on August 17th. Right now, I'm being joined by Chris to share some stories about the music and share more info about the band. So, Chris, welcome to the show. Yeah, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Great to meet you as well, sir, as well as your wonderful puppy. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Let's go and listen back to that track, Unaware. Coming back from unaware, and I definitely love that uh, that synth intro that you guys have got going on in the background. Very atmospheric. Mm-hmm. Um, before before it kicks in and gets super heavy, I'm curious, what is the story or inspiration behind unaware? Uh, yeah, um, if you know the video, then uh, this is pretty much the topic. Uh, 
like it's a it's a social critical song and uh it's mostly about the situation every person who has work and who lives in a modern society uh, is in because we're all part of a big system and we have to work and we have to keep up and uh sometimes uh this is stressful and uh like we showed in a video it's like um how much time we've left and the only way to get more time is uh, to work actually and this is what we what we've done in the video so everyone is uh, working for time which is ridiculous of course but um yeah this is kind of what we are actually doing <laughs> nowadays as well and uh yeah this is kind of what the, what the topic is about like and also things like there are bigger things that maybe control us and we don't know about it and uh this is um yeah, this is so so we're unaware, you know. <laughs> that's, the, that's the topic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, a socially critical song, all part of a big system. We've got to keep up. And something that you mentioned that I think is kind of funny is the only way to get more life is to just work more. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, so what's the uh, the expression? The joy of life is the ability to work, or something like that. Exactly. You know. Um, so yeah, bigger things that control us. And something that you mentioned quite a few times there was the music video. So Rock Metal Nation, if you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca and go and see the music video for Unaware, which is super cool. It's like a futuristic setting or like, it's like the apocalypse has happened or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, go and take us through the music video. What's the or the production behind the music video? Yeah, um, like like always, uh, I'm doing the videos for our stuff, so I direct them, and I have a cool little team which uh, always uh, hates me for <laughs> uh, like uh, realizing my my visions. But uh, this time it worked out pretty great, even though we had only like one week or something for the whole preparation and, and shooting and post pro. So this was a crazy project. And, uh, we also got <laughs> the coma blue video, the second th uh, single at the same weekend. So as you can imagine, we didn't sleep at all. We just shot some stuff in the, in the desert uh, daytime and then some stuff in a, in an industrial hall in, in nighttime. And, uh, yeah, it was <laughs> like, we hated our lives at this time. And, uh, to see how it came out in the end is really cool because it actually came out really good and we are proud of this. And uh, yeah, the setting of uh, Underwear is in, kind, in some kind of desert, uh, like you said, post-apocalyptic uh, uh, scenery. So uh, it wasn't easy to find that place actually in Germany because Germany is pretty crowded and pretty green and, and civilization everywhere. So uh, yeah, we found this in some kind of mining area and uh this is like dead land where where big mining engines uh yeah were digging the earth uh, a few years ago and uh, yeah we were really lucky with the location and we found some great actors and uh yeah that's uh that's how it went it was terrible the shooting it was really exhausting but it came out great well the good news is you now have more life because you were working so hard <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up, yeah. It's true. <laughs> there you go. All right, awesome. Let's go listen to the next track, Coma Blue. <laughs> Yeah. 
Rock Metal Nation, it's John from the Rock Metal Podcast for a real quick break to let you know that Jay over at Metal Mayhem Radio is looking to help you get your band in rotation on his station. So go ahead and hit up Jay at studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. That is studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. Just go ahead and say that the Rock Metal Podcast sent you. He'll get you into rotation on Metal Mayhem Radio. All right, come back from Coma Blue. Definitely kicks in, I think, definitely a lot heavier right from the get-go mm-hmm. um, than unaware. I'm curious, what is the story or inspiration behind Coma Blue? Um, it's like the the lyrics in this are more interpretable, I would say. Uh, I know probably everyone has sometimes had this moment where you just want to want to go away, go to a different place and start a new life, maybe start all over and uh, like try to not do the same failures again. Uh, and uh, this is pretty much it. And uh, because, yeah, we, we just call it like Coma Blue is, is something that we just um, actually uh, invented, I guess. And uh, it's it's kind of the state where you where you're not happy anymore and where you don't know where to go and what happens next. And yeah, they want to fly away, uh, which is the line in the chorus. And yeah, that's that's it. And like you said, it's a more aggressive song than Underwear. It's, uh, it has these triplets, triplet rhythm all over the song, which is really groovy and uh, many, many shouts going on. And um, yeah, this, uh, this is good. Um, it shows an average of the whole sound of arms, I guess. Uh, yeah, the heavy stuff and the great melodics and the in the or not great the the big melodic melancholic stuff in the in the choruses. So yeah, that's why we picked this song as second single. Cool. Now for Rock Metal Nation, who dug the track Coma Blue? If you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can go and see the music video for Coma Blue. Now we kind of chatted briefly about it when we were talking about Unaware. You mentioned you were in an industrial hall at night. Yeah, yeah. We we, we were looking for this kind of hall really long, like the whole week. We were just trying to to find a hall where we are able to shoot, and uh, we were nearly giving up. But then, like. Uh, about three hours before we planned shooting, uh, we found out that there's a, a hall like this, like uh, literally in the same house as my studio. <laughs> so I just asked uh, my my um, my the owner of the house where I rent the studio uh, if we could shoot there, and he was yeah for sure. And then we started shooting, and as we weren't sure if we could uh, shoot anything at all, we really had to. Um, improvise all the stuff and we had no actors so we decided to just do it on our own and then we had this crazy plan of just doing some kind of one take shot where the camera moves around in a crazy play a uh, crazy way with the rotation and stuff and uh yeah and we were like appearing and disappearing in, in different spots of the hall all the time and uh it came out really cool and then we watched it for the first time we were like oh this is funny yeah, because probably if we, <laughs> probably people will will ask themselves how we did it. <laughs> I was asking myself how you guys did it, and I was I was curious who's lying on the ground in the very beginning. That's Dave. That's all screamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every one oh, of us. Is... Every one of us is dying a few times in this video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, "That's creepy. That's just creepy." <laughs> yeah. All right. So for Rock Foundation, who is just on fire right now about unaware and Coma Blue, are going to be excited to know about a complete album coming out uh, on August seventeenth called Arms. Now you kind of mentioned that Coma Blue is a really good average sound of Arms, but I was curious if you could take us through when we pick up Arms, what should we expect? Yeah, it's a. Uh... It's uh, I, I would say it's not not that much metalcore anymore, but it, it's still a metal album with uh, with, with, with pop um, influences, especially uh, when it comes to singing and all the synth stuff and the melodies. And uh, it's a really melancholic album. Uh, we like we like sad songs, and uh, it's also aggressive and really <laughs> <laughs> and really uh, yeah. Uh, deep sounding and low sounding we have really low tuned guitars and uh yeah and uh i mean you, <laughs> it's hard to explain what you should expect you should just listen to a few songs and then ask yourself if you like it or not and uh if you like it we're really happy yeah. 
What was jokes? We tuned to E, just an <laughs> octave down. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> octave and a little. We tuned to D, just an octave down D. Yeah, yeah we have yeah. one. We have one part in the song. Uh, uh, good times where uh, we did the same, just in one part, <laughs> really, like really an octave down, which is funny. Oh wow! Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So the next logical question on Rock Metal Nation's mind is: How can we stay in touch with you guys or find out more about you? Is there a place that we should go to on the web? Definitely YouTube, because that's where all our uh, music videos uh, are online, of course. And uh, yeah, like you've seen, we put a lot of effort in our videos and uh yeah also facebook and uh i think instagram is the probably the best way to keep up with everything because we started we started uh using the story tool <laughs> a lot we were just coming back from a big us tour and uh yeah there was a lot happening so uh there's also a lot coming up so if you follow us there this would probably be the best way Cool, cool. All right. Well, Chris, is there anything else you wanted to throw out there? I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Anna's OK with Rock Metal Nation. Yeah, to every one of you who is listening to this, uh, definitely check uh, check us out if you haven't heard about Anna's OK yet. We're not that big in your country so far, so there's still, there's still potential for uh, improvement. And if you like it, just tell all your friends about it and maybe they like it as well. And if you know and is okay already, thank you for being a fan and thank you for supporting us. And uh, yeah, we are trying to to improve ourselves and go on like this and uh, make some more tours happening. And uh, yeah, arms won't be our last album as well. <laughs> I hope so. Alright, Rock Metal Nation. Hopefully you just found your new favorite fans and Anne is okay. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.